Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. But we're going to be doing things a little bit different leading up to Black Friday. You're getting two top fives every day leading up to Black Friday, where we'll be having a live stream. And if you're watching this after the fact, well, you missed out. Anyways, this top five, the top five powder boards for 2020. Number five, the Jones Mind Expander. It's like a cross between the Hovercraft and the Storm Chaser. It's surfy, it's slashy, it floats well, it's nimble in the trees. If you haven't seen our review of it, go check that out. But this board is super solid and super fun to ride on a powder day. Number four, the Rome Ravine, one of Kevin's personal favorite boards. If you're a rad dad that wants a board that can kill pow and still ride the rest of the mountain, this is it right here. This board is like the perfect blend of a freestyle focused pow board. It's directional in nature, yet it can still crush it on a jump. That's why it's so versatile and fun and it's a butter machine. So if you get a chance, go check it out. Number three, man the harpoons, it's the LibTech Orca. Now I think all of you are thinking this board was gonna be number one. It's not, it's good. Might be a little overhyped. I might have been part of that problem. I'm not taking full credit for it. Other people should too. It's a good powder board. It's nimble in the trees. You can still carve with it when you get on a groomer if you have to when you're cutting around the resort. It's just a very versatile board. It's got solid float. It's a little bit wider, so you people with bigger feet won't have a problem with it. And they added a ton more sizes. I think it's actually the third best selling board of all time for LibTech. So it's right up there with the Jamie Lynn Whale and the Skate Banana. And the, we all know the Skate Banana's a turd. What? Somebody had to say it. Number two, the Battalion Surfer. It's a Swallowtail. It's got three BT. It's cambered. It's, it's amazing. That's all you need to know is that it's a fucking amazing board. It floats well in really deep pow, and it wasn't a slug when you got it into tight trees. Wasn't the best, but it wasn't a slug. It's a very versatile pow board, and I mean, if you're going to Japan and you want a Japow board, here you go. That 3BT is gonna be like a hull and funnel the snow back out. You're gonna get better float. That swallowtail is gonna sink, and if you really lay up a spray, it's gonna shoot through the swallowtail and hit some fat skier fuck behind you, and they're gonna be blind and ski into a tree, and then they're gonna die, and then they're dead, and then there's one less skier in the world. That's just logic right there. Honorable mentions, and believe me, there is a lot of great powder boards out there, so it's really tough to just narrow this list down. So there is a fair amount of honorable mentions in this. The Yes Hybrid. That board is phenomenal at slaying pow. The Telos Backslash, one of my personal favorite volume shifted pow boards. Will it make that list? Probably. The Nidecker Mosquito. Once again, this would have made it to the top five, but I had to really narrow down this list and I feel like this is more of a carving cruiser pow board and it's a great board for ripping turns on, so I'm just gonna move it from this list and put it on one later on down the line. The Battalion Party Wave. You wanna go party boarding? You wanna slash pow? That's the party wave right there. And the number one pow board for 2020. No surprise, it's still the Endeavor Archetype. That is still one of the best pow boards I have ever been on. Every time I get on it, in a pow day, I have a great time on it. The taper, the swallowtail, it sinks. It's still butterable in the nose. That camber profile, when you load it up, it just helps elevate that nose. You get better float in it. It can still carve when you get onto a groomer, when you're cutting back to the lift to get back up and go chase the goods. So for anyone that thinks that this board has fallen off and it isn't hyped, no, it's still solid. Those of us that know and have one, well, we're ahead of you guys. You need to go buy one and get on it now. This has been Top Fives, and I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre. Do you agree with my picks for the top five powder boards of 2020? Yes? No? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this. 
If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out. And believe me, this week especially, we got a ton of content coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you're new here and you really want to support us, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.